Hey, how's it, Cowboy Boss here? How you doing? All right, so that the new season starting, Cowboys versus Browns. You know who I'm on with. I'm on with the Cowboys. Uh, before I get into the game, real quick, um, I might, you know, and, and it's kind of pointless for me to say right now because I work around. I have a new position, and right now I'm still working around the clock. So even though I'm gonna be watching a lot of games live, but I just gonna miss, you know, like. I gotta go work right after the right after the game is finished and all that, and I'm like, you know, what's the point of coming home and making a video about it? I mean, unless there's something I really want to talk about, other than that, but you know, I, it's not like I get thousands of views or anything. But that's a, so, but for the guys who watch, mahalo and all that. Um, and then yeah, I wasn't making a lot of videos. I made my draft videos. I made a couple of things here and there, but it was nothing, you know, no because because after the whole thing of like. Jerry Jones and all that, like yeah, I was you know like I know a lot. I know there's a lot of Cowboy fans probably agree with me. Like seeing him hurt was probably the only positive thing about the Cowboys losing, because <laughs> like yes, he finally feels it. Now he finally finally feels it and all that. Now he understands how we feel. And then when he said the all in, and I was like kind of cliche, but I'll play along. And then after the while, then then when he gave the reasoning why he said all in, I was like, okay, it is enough for it. I I'm detached myself, you know, like. You know, it's like listening to that one relative or one friend that they're constantly talking. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. You just throw them out there. It's kind of like that. But anyway, um, on to this game. I love the fact that this, this is the type of game I really want to see right off the bat because Cowboys are going to get tested right away. And that's the first thing I said. like, yes. Because Browns is a very physical team. Rush defensive line. You know, defensively, they're a very sound team. Uh, um, offensively, they're a very physical team, even though they got some playmakers like Njoku from the U, um, a good tight end, and then, you know, and then Omari Cooper with Trayvon Diggs coming back, you know, Omari Cooper is going to, you know, he's a huge, you know, and they have some, they have some other, you know, they have some other talented kids there too. Like, uh, the guy that uh, was in that CD Lamb, Jeff, um, uh, Judy, and uh, Jerry Judy, and all that, you know, he, he he's going to make, you know, he's going to have his... But again, the the physical run, the physicalness of their running game, is what I want to see because that's the thing that's been bothering us for the last couple of years and all that. Um, you know, good to see. I mean, I'm so happy to see Tr uh, Trayvon Diggs back. I just was kind of disappointed that we're not gonna get um, Deron Bland and him, you know, and uh, and all that on, on the stuff and all that. But you know, you know, it is what it is. And, and no, I know, I, you know, like I know Mozzie Smith who took a, you know, I want to see that how he, because we Cowboys was a spring, Cowboys been bringing big boys all, all year, all, all summer long and all that, because they really want to show up. And, and I love it. I love they're going to emphasize, they don't have to be a highlight real guys. They just got to, they just got to occupy blockers because you got overshown. You know, I cannot wait to see overshown. I know a lot of Cowboys can, cannot wait to see overshown playing on it. But the more you protect Overshone, that not have to go through those blockers and all that, you're gonna have a heat seeking missile that's gonna be blowing up everything, and and that's the that's the thing that I want to see. You know, I I mean, I, I hope he gets more playing time as the year goes on. You know, Maurice uh, Leofo, but you know, cause he's another kid that that that's gonna be playing just on that level of this like hit 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 <laughs> and all that. And then offensively too. I mean that that the the Browns are you know they have a great secondary and all that you know I know I know C D Lamb got the big contract so everybody's gonna see like yeah I want to see how you do against that you know what I I want to see that too but at the same time C D Lamb gets the big bucks because now he's saying that hey I make all the reason why I get all this money is because I make everybody else better around me so if he takes the safety off if he's taking attention away bringing guys away from the the line. And all that, and then our offensive line, you know, because they, because I thought I thought Holland was the start of the year, and then, and then BB would take over eventually. The Cowboys are like, no, we're gonna, you know, so, so if we can establish a physicalness to to everything, you know, that's gonna be the huge test too, because then you know, again, Browns very physical defense, you know, so so yeah, and you know, and Tyler Guyton, you know, I, I know a lot of people is looking at. Miles, uh, Miles Garrett and all that, and 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 be like, okay, Tyler, I didn't. And the the thing is like, the thing is like, okay, can he handle? Because this this Darius Smith on the opposite side, and the, the Darius Smith has some good games against the Cowboys, and we know how. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me, 
Terrence still really, really disappointed me last year. So, so like, you know, so like, you know, like, okay, if, if, you know, I, I know, I know we got to focus on that, but I want to see how much Terrence did because we do have the rookie on that side. I want to see if Terrence still can have a bounce back here and handle his side as well, too. Um, you know, I know I made the video with Zeke and all that, you know. You know, and, and if and if these guys can push around the Browns defense a little bit and Zeke at the short yardage and then Rico Dotto, you know, um, Dalvin Cook, who I hope gets some playing time. And then, you know, if got to uh, gotta put in Vaughn a little bit here and there, that's fine, you know, like, but I really want to see the Cowboys get physical and all that kind of stuff. Um, like, like if it's a grimy game, like, you know, and the Cowboys end up winning the game, you know, it's not like, it's not like, it's great to see highlights and all that, but if if the if by the end of the game where where the, where it goes like, man, Cowboys had kind of kicked the kicked the crap out of the Browns, you know, and all that, and that's gonna send a message to the, to the rest of the league and all that. And if defensively we can do that too, like the Cowboys aren't punks, you know, you gotta you, you gotta find ways to you know you, you better hope that Amari Cooper has a good game. You better hope that Njoku, because you guys not gonna be running the ball on us at that all and all that. And that and that's the thing about Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer is you know like I like Dan Quinn and all. I was Quinn to win it. Don't get me wrong. I believe in Dan Quinn and I know I said all those things, but there was something that was starting to bother me. I was just like the undisciplined side, and then and then when things went wrong, you know things went really wrong. And that's the thing I like about Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer is a guy is not gonna tolerate any of that. You miss an assignment, man. He is gonna have you. You know, and then you know, and, and he's you know he's gonna hold a lot in the, the dumb penalties that that I hope the way he's gonna hold players accountable. I hope that really, really the the players really you know. And then you got Al, you know, you got Al Harris to to kind of you know, cause I know a lot of players respect him and he's a great leader. So you know, he he can be like, oh, do what he says. You know, don't don't you know, whatever. Just just do what he says and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. But, but that, this is a game that's going to answer a lot of questions and, you know, right off the bat. All right, that's my video. Mahalo for watching Paniola, boys. Who are you with? You know who I'm with? I'm with the Dallas Cowboys.